Welcome everybody to the uh, general concentration also known as management science uh, and engineering to our info session today. Uh, Professor Ilan Adler is joining us, who is the uh, head um, MENG advisor for the program. Uh, my name is Heather Iwata. I am a graduate advisor in the department. Um, we oversee the MENG, Master of Engineering, Master of Analytics, the PhD, and MS programs. Uh, joining us as well are our additional graduate student services staff, Erica Diffendorfer and Jenny Hong. So uh, some logistics before we get started. At the bottom of your screen, you should see um, a Q&A bubble. Um, and I'm going to be shifting my view amongst three different monitors. Um, so forgive me for that. Um, but the Q&A bubble, you'll see that at the bottom. Feel free to drop your questions there. And Professor Adler and I will take time at the end um, of this presentation to address questions that might pop up there. In addition, Erica and Jenny might be answering uh, directly to you um, uh, as they type the answers um, along. So um, hopefully this is a, an informative um, presentation for you. Um, and we want you to feel well prepared. All right, so let's get rolling. All right, and congratulations, by the way. Um, this is a big deal. So starting enrollment fall 2023, um, we're excited to, to bring everybody on board. Fall is always uh, such an energized time to be here. Um, and there's plenty of, of time between now and then. Um, if you still have additional questions after today, know that we're all accessible um, to help answer those questions. So UC Berkeley is located in the San Francisco Bay Area. We have many, many, many resources. Um, and of course, beautiful weather um, uh, with the exception of the last month or so, but that's been, I think, California wide um and uh gorgeous views as well so in this picture here you'll see one of our landmarks the campanile overlooking the san francisco bay so um having access to a lot of uh different um uh, career resources and industries um is huge uh, in the bay area so this is just some uh, of the companies that are here um, that you potentially might have access to. Uh, and our Fung Institute Career Services team, they do a fantastic job to help connect our Master of Engineering students to these different industries um, and to help uh, with, with the uh, career search. So a little bit about our department. Um, the University of California, Berkeley was ranked number one by Forbes, we're number two uh, in the nation for IUR graduate programs and number three overall in the nation um, for the College of Engineering. So you'll see here in this chart um, where we sit amongst our IUR programs um, and our lovely colleagues across the United States. So within our department, we have 20 faculty and two lecturers, um, and nine staff who we'll introduce um, in a later slide. And all in all this academic year, we have over 400 students um, from our undergraduate to our graduate programs. Our faculty for IEOR who are also located on our website are here. Um, here at the top is uh, Professor Fleming. He is the um, IPES concentration faculty advisor, and that is the intellectual property and entrepreneurship strategy concentration. Um, and then we also have Professors Shin Guo, Chibo Mastrolia, um, who are leading the FinTech concentration. Um, and they are also supported um, by Professor Li Zhengzheng and of course, Professor Adler who joins us today on screen. 
but many of these faculty members are involved in the capstone projects um, that occur throughout the academic year for our MN students. We have new faculty who will be joining us in the fall. Uh, Ying uh, comes from, um, uh, received her uh, PhD from the National University of Singapore. She's currently at the University of Minnesota uh, and we are really excited to bring her on board. Um, and I must say that our faculty, Professor Adler was actually heading the, the faculty searches, um, did a fantastic job. Um, so in order to support our growing graduate uh, populations, we are bringing on two faculty, um, Ying being one of them, and the other is Chi Wei, um, who is currently at University of Washington. So some of our staff who are joining us today um, are here, and it, it, takes a, it truly takes a village to keep our department afloat. Um, so you'll see here that we have uh, our undergraduate student services advisor, Ginny Sadil, um, Jasmine Flores, who um, uh, supports the analytics program, um, Goldie Negalev, uh, who is our communications and development manager, Vicky Braga, our finance analyst, Rebecca Pauling, our department manager, and Mick Santos, um, who is our um, IT AP specialist. And there's a little missing block there, and we are I'm going to be hiring um, another staff member here very soon. So we're going to go over the academic requirements um, for the Master of Engineering program, um, beginning with the um, uh, with 240 and 241. Actually, let me move on to this one here. Uh, that one was supposed to be hidden. Sorry about that. But our core courses are 240 and 241. 240 is optimization and 241 is risk modeling, simulation and data analysis. These are required for all Master of Engineering students to take uh, 240 and 241 regardless of concentration. And you'll see here um, what each of the courses um, uh, review. If you find that 240 and 241 have already been completed, or you have um, uh, had some equivalent coursework um, and would like to pursue a more advanced course in place of 240 and 241, you can petition to take the PhD level equivalent, uh, which is 262A, Mathematical Programming One, and uh, 263A um, in Stochastics. So. Um, the way in which you would do that, it's a very you know, simple process um, by application that has to be reviewed by the current instructors of um, these advanced courses. Um, and we go ahead and, and note that as well, but that's down, down the line. We send many, uh, many informative messages, this being one of them with detailed steps. So our technical electives, for the purposes of our conversation today, we are talking about management science and engineering. So in the fall, 240 and 241 are offered in fall only. They're not offered fall or spring, it is fall only. And that has to do with another milestone requirement that we'll talk about um, in a couple of minutes. In addition, you need to take two approved technical electives. Um, and those can be taken either in the fall or the spring, depending upon your interests. Um, but they do need to be, again, approved 200 level IEOR or INDENG as it reads in the catalog here, um, courses. And they need to also be taken for a letter grade because those are degree requirements. And then there's FinTech uh, and IP concentrations. They had their information sessions earlier today for interested in those. You can um, listen to those recordings when those are posted. This information is also available on our website. Um, so the projected fall 2023 courses um, are listed here and these would um, 
obviously outside of 240 and 241 would fulfill those additional two technical electives that are required for the degree. Um, these are, you know, the, subject to change. Um, life situations happen for folks, but this is what is currently on the docket for fall 2023. Um, and new this upcoming fall uh, 290, uh, which is kind of like a beta course, um, Professor Aswani will be teaching game theory. Um, and then I have asterisks here as well by some of these courses because um, there is limited seating for MN uh, students in, in fall. Um, that is because these are required courses for a Master of Analytics students, um, and they, they have to take it in the fall. Uh, in spring 2024, you'll see that some of the courses are repeated um, because they have traditionally been very popular. Um, so you'll see uh, a list here. And if you do end up taking uh, and completing 262A or 263A, there's a continuation in the series that occurs in the spring. So one of our milestones is the, um, the technical comprehensive exam. Um, and so, as I mentioned earlier, there is 240 and 241 only offered in the fall, and the technical comprehensive exam is based on 240 and 241. Um, so you see the breakdown here of uh, 90 minutes for optimization, 90 minutes for stochastic, uh, stochastic modeling, um, and this is taken during reading, review, recitation, RRR week, or as I like to call it, pirate week some are um, in, in the fall term. And that is the week before finals. So the other milestone that um, uh, is required for the degree is the capstone and leadership exam. This is managed by the Funk Institute. So um, the departments are looped in. However, the Funk Institute leads this piece, whereas technical requirements, so technical electives, the comprehensive technical exam, those are managed by the academic department. So that's something that, uh, that we oversee. But I just wanted to touch on this so you're fully aware of the entire degree and its requirements. So again, the milestones we've touched on, uh, 240, 241, two technical electives, the comprehensive technical exam, and now we have the capstone and leadership exam. Um, these are different um, types of capstone projects that are offered. It is a two semester series. Um, and Professor Adler can also talk a little bit more about that if, if he feels so moved um, to, to do that. Um, but there's the capstone experience class that's related to the concentration. So for instance, FinTech and IP for IUR, um, they have their very cap, their uh, concentration specific capstone. Um, that is only for those in, in the converse, in the um, concentration. And then we have a university project that is usually led by a UC Berkeley faculty member research group, and then a partner project. Um, and those are sometimes uh, done with industry, government entities, academic nonprofits. Um, and on the Fung Institute, you, you can see that a, a list of the different types of capstones that they've had in the past. Um, and these are some samples for IUR, what type of different um, capstone projects we've participated in. And the leadership exam uh, occurs in the spring semester, again, managed by the Funk Institute. It is a degree requirement. So both the leadership and the technical, comprehensive technical exams need to be completed. Um, and the Fung Institute staff provide that information uh, to all of the MN students. So a final snapshot on all of the, the different uh, degree requirements. Um, it is a one year, two semester lockstep program. Um, you're expected to um, uh, meet the minimum cumulative GPA of 3.0. In order to be a full-time student, you need to be enrolled in 12 units uh, per semester. The way that the uh, MN degree turns out to be, um, if you were to simply do 
your uh, core courses and electives um, and nothing more than that would be 12 units in the fall and 13 um, in, the, uh, in the spring um, to total 25 units. 12 of those 25 units, again, have to be those um, four technical electives. Um, and again, the comprehensive exams that must be completed. We have the comprehensive technical exam that happens during RRR week in the fall uh, for IEOR and the leadership exam that the Fung Institute manages in the spring. And the capstone course, um, typically there is a class that happens in the fall and then it's more application in the spring. So I quickly went through that. <laughs> So if there's any questions um, about anything we might have covered or not covered, please let me know. I'm gonna go ahead and stop sharing my screen. Any questions? Again, feel free to Enter questions in the Q&A there at the bottom. You can also raise your hand if you'd like to ask a question and be taken off mute. I guess we were that thorough, huh? <laughs> um, Alexander, so RRR week is the um, second to last week of the fall semester. I don't have those dates right in front of me, um, but it is the week before final exams occur. Um, so it's basically your, um, your study week. Great question. This is also a very common question. Is it possible to extend the program for one semester? No, it is not, uh, unfortunately. So uh, it is a two semester lockstep program. And there is no third semester. Okay, in addition to the comprehensive technical exam, do we have to take the specific in-class exam, especially if we take the 262A instead of 240? I can answer that. Mm -hmm. uh, all courses that you take have their own exam and requirements. For example, 240 has what we call late-term exam, which is about two weeks before the end of the semester. There is no final, but there is a project there is a similar situation in 241. And then you have the requirement for exam in 262A, 263A. Those are separate from the, from the comprehensive exam. So every course has their own requirement, which you have to satisfy. And you can ask the professor or look on the website 
what they are. And then on the RR week, which is just at the end of the semester, you have to take the technical exam, which is composed of questions from both 240 and 241, or if you take 268, 263A, since it's a similar material, you, you can, uh, you, you still be eligible to take and ready to take the course. We also give you an access to the website of 240, 241 to help you to, to ease you into the exam, take case of notation and other things to make sure what it is. Are there any MBA in here or not? They have their own orientation. Yeah, they have their own orientation. Okay, so I have nothing, nothing else to add. Is there a spring cohort? No, so the Master of Engineering degree is a false start only program. Um, and that's across uh, all academic departments. Anyone else? Last call for questions. Okay, if you have additional questions after absorbing some of this information, feel free to email any of us, uh, contact us. And we can one, help to answer your questions. There's one more question. Yeah. How are the capstone teams formed? Can you explain the process? Yeah, I can say a little bit also. This is done really by the fund institution. You know, this degree has two parts. There's a technical part, which is IOR, in which it's half of the degree. And then there is the leadership and the business-like kind of courses that's done for the whole School of Engineering together. That means you take classes which is not specific to IOR, they're specific for the whole degree. The capstone also handle on this part of the, of the degree. Uh, basically, there is going to be sometimes later uh, over the, the semester, maybe even you get more information about it in other orientation, uh, talks that you have, there is a kind of supply and demand. You, you get a list of all the projects that are available, and then you can sign into everyone, ask questions, and it's kind of formed, the teams are formed by themselves. The students are just registered for, for uh, to, to want to take, uh, to, to take the project, and then it's handled this way. Uh, I would suggest that when you have in a session with the Fung Institute, you can ask more questions about it because they can be more specific and even give you some details about what projects are already online, ready to go. And it can be done not just within IOR. You can have in a cross department uh, project. That's, that's, that's happen often. That there are people maybe from mechanic to computer science and IOR in the same in the same team. Yeah, and the Funk Institute, they uh, do a really great job hosting presentations and info sessions as the capstone selection comes up um, and over the summer and during orientation. So they, they go um, in quite a bit of depth as the semester nears.
Final questions? Well, I guess in true IUR fashion, we were very efficient <laughs> uh, and wrapped this up in 30 minutes. And we appreciate everybody joining us today. Um, and again, please reach out if you have additional questions and congratulations again. Uh, we hope you choose UC Berkeley um, MNG IUR program and hope to see you in the fall.